Well, hello, YouTube friends. Uh, I'm going to do a little voiceover with this catch-up video. It's about a few things. Uh, it was the most glorious day yesterday, a good day for inspecting the bees. Uh, if you're a beekeeper, you'll know you need to look at the bees in the summertime about every week to see, firstly, the health of the hive, but also to see if they're thinking about swarming and splitting off the colony. That's how bees reproduce themselves, is by making another queen cell or several queen cells and taking a load of worker bees and a new queen um, off to another location. Well, you don't want to do that if you're a beekeeper. You want to keep all your bees in your hive so that they can make your honey. So <clears throat> I was checking for queen cells. I was also checking to see if I could see the queen I didn't see the queen. I never see the queen. Uh, once I've seen her, so I know there's one in there. I also know there's one in there because there was um, evidence of her by seeing lava and eggs and so on. So what I'm doing now, that green thing that I've just moved is called a queen excluder. And the box of bees that I'm looking at now at the bottom is the brood chamber. And I was just taking out some empty combs and replacing them with combs full of honey, capped honey, that the bees had stored in a different brood box. It's complicated how I've got the hive this year, but I've sorted it out so that it's now exactly how it should be. So I was giving them food, like three frames of food there. Um, this is the last one going in there now. And then the queen excluder, that green plastic thing, it's big enough to let the worker bees through so that they can get up and down the, the hive, but the queen can't get through because she's bigger. Ah, instead of using smoke this time because it was such a hot day, I was using water, a fine water mist, which uh, was a much, much better idea. It worked fine. The bees were really friendly. And so I'm placing on top, on the top of this box now. I don't get that lined up very well, but I do go back later and fix that. That smaller box that I've just put on top there, here it is. It's a box of frames and that UW you can see on it there, that means unwired. So the frames that I'm putting on the top there haven't got wires in. I'm just replacing the crown board now and then the roof. Now the unwired frames, well, I'll tell you hopefully what they're going to do after we've had a look at kittens. So I've been letting the kittens outside in this beautiful weather. Uh, they, I, I stuck them all in this box and brought them downstairs. And um, this was their first, they've been out a few times now, but this was their first time on grass. They'd never been outside before and they were a little bit tentative. They were all inside this, <laughs> this cardboard box. And I, I just let them explore and discover on their own. And if you can hear Sadie, she's encouraging them to come out a bit. Come on, out you come. <laughs> she's such a good mum. So they were a bit wary at first. But they did, um, they've been out three or four times since this, uh, this one, this first time. And they gamble about all over the place now. But to start with, they were a little bit unsure. <laughs> so they've, all the kittens have homes now uh, really good homes people who are really looking forward to seeing them little Harry there the little ginger guy and one other uh, boy uh, Thomas uh, are only going to live uh, a few doors away next door but one to where I live and so I think I'll see a lot of them as they grow up and settle down into that new home. The two girls, and in a minute we might see the stripy girl, whose name is Anna, um, <laughs> and her sister, who hasn't got a name yet. They're going to a friend of mine who lives, oh, maybe, I don't know, 25 miles away or so. But I'll see them from time to time, and I'll hear from Jill how they're doing. And then the last little boy who is working name of Adam, uh, is um, my friend Mark, who helps me in my garden sometimes. 
he, uh, Adam's going to live with Mark. Uh, he can call him anything he likes, I don't mind. So these are all people that I know well, and I will keep up with uh, progress with the kittens. I've got a feeling Sadie might move out and go and live with Lorna and Harry and Thomas. <laughs> I wouldn't be at all surprised. They're five weeks, five and a half weeks or so old in this, in this little clip. They're six weeks old tomorrow. So I, I think I might have told you if you, if any of you watch more of these, that Sadie was a kitten I got from my friend who's my vet nurse. Well, I called in to the vets yesterday to talk about, you know, how to hand these kittens over in the best health possible. So we have an appointment on Thursday for everybody, Sadie and all five of them, to have a kitten party at the vets where they're all going to have a once over. They're all going to be wormed and fleed appropriately by Christine, the vet nurse, whose cat Sadie was. Uh, and she'll enjoy catch-up, I'm sure. And it means that the kittens will go to their new homes in the best health possible. And also, uh, Sadie will have a once-over to see how she's doing. And uh, I, I want to get her spayed so that we don't have kittens again. Uh, she's done a fantastic job, but we don't need to do this again. Not at all. <laughs> so that little stripey one there in the very front... That one is Anna. She's a lovely cat. If I was going to keep one, it would be her. But it's, I'm really pleased she's going to stay with Jill. <laughs> little, little Anna. So I do spend an awful lot of time outside with these cats, photographing them. So the other thing that, I, <laughs> the other thing that I've done with the kittens uh, just yesterday... Uh, I moved them all downstairs. They were creating havoc in the bedroom here and I wasn't getting any sleep now that they're really mobile. So I moved everything downstairs and they seem to have taken to it very well indeed. Oh, we're coming up now to a little clip of Eileen. It's about eight o'clock at night. It's still beautiful. I took Eileen up for a swim. I've been taking her for a swim every night while it's been so hot. <laughs> Can you see Sadie in the shadows there? Eileen just brings herself back when she's ready. She just walks back. Oh, she's going to give Sadie a wide berth there. There she goes. She just puts herself back into her little bit of garden. She's had a lovely swim, a good flap. Oh, she's just eating a bit of grass there. This is a proper random video. <laughs> it's a bit of a catch up. I walked to the top of the hill opposite the house after I'd taken Eileen for a swim just to watch the sunset. This was last night. Absolutely beautiful summer we're having. So, thank you so much for watching. And welcome to all the new subscribers uh, who've uh, joined this channel over the last few days. It's really nice to have you along. There goes the sun. See you next time.